In this edition of Math with McComish, we're going to go over how to find a pattern rule from a table of values. We've looked at uh, using patterns with just these kind of numbers, and you would say the pattern is I'm starting at 1 and increasing by 3 each time. Now we're going to look at the table of values and how to get from one column or row to the other using a pattern rule. So if we look at an example, every person gets three lollipops. This table of values shows uh, this pattern. So if you had one person, you'd have three lollipops, two, you'd have six total, three people, nine total lollipops, and so forth. So our rule that we're trying to figure out is how can we figure out if we know the number of people, how many total lollipops we would have. And this pattern rule has to be the same for the entire pattern. So what this one would be is if it's three per person, all you'd have to do is take the number of people and multiply it by three for every one of these. That is my pattern rule. If P represented the number of people, I could write my pattern rule as 3P because that means take three, multiply by the number of people, and you get your total. So this is what I'm looking for. If I did this example, I'm increasing by five each time. But if you look at from the input to the output, what you would do is, since you're increasing by five each time, that gives you the hint of multiplying by five to get from the input to the output. So your rule is multiply by five, and that would be that pattern rule. Looking at two steps patterns, sometimes we have a constant or something that doesn't change in the question. If you look at this example, these n chairs on these tables aren't going to change. They're going to be those two chairs every time. So we're going to add that two on at the end to find the total number of chairs. For every table, we're increasing by two chairs as well that we add. So a table of values for this, number of tables goes up one, two, three, four, five. Number of chairs, we'd start at four and then add two each time. So since for every table we are increasing by two, the start of this pattern rule is gonna be multiplied by two. Then because of the constant or those two black chairs that don't change, we're gonna add two to the end. So this is actually my pattern rule, times two plus two. And that would be what it would be for that pattern. What we wanna do is look at the second row or column and see what it's going up by. This would tell us what the first operation to do. Second operation is what you'd have to do to get to the number after you've done the first operation. So if we look at this one in our sequence here, we're increasing by four each time. That means our to start our pattern rule, we're gonna times by four. And after I do that to the position number, so one times four would equal four, I need to get to five though, so I'd have to add one. Same with the second one. I would times by four. Two times four is eight. I'd add the plus one. And that would be the pattern rule for every single one of these. So times four plus one. If I look at this question right here, I'm increasing by two each time. So that means I start by multiplying by two. If I did one multiplied by two, I would get two, but the output I need to get is one. So that means I actually have to subtract one. So my pattern rule is times two, subtract one. And that works for every single one of these. If I did three times two, that'd be six. Minus one would give me five. And I could write that like this. So those are a few examples and ways of doing, of writing the pattern rule from a table of values.